What's going on, guys? It's Chicago Trader here with uh, week nine of the Fundamental Recap Series. Hope you guys are having a nice weekend. Anyway, I'll just jump right into this week's uh, stock that I'm going to be looking at. So I did um, kind of a longer term uh, view of MLNT last week and uh, you know gave some of the reasons around it. Um, had some positive feedback on it. So if that's kind of what I've been uh, looking to do for maybe the next couple of weeks is find kind of bigger picture themes of stocks and you know kind of why I like to look at them. So the past week or two, uh, as you can probably see on the screen, uh, Avalon ABCO started to move. Um, so its story basically was OTC and uplisted, uh, I believe in December uh, to the NASDAQ. And um, it ended up moving, if I can, I'll pull up the chart here. So it ends up getting uplisted here and it moves on no news. So I mean, the thing goes from $3 to, uh, 14 so obviously you know you start digging into it very thinly traded um, hardly any volume before this kind of pump or whatever the reason was but anyway I kind of got uh, interested in it once it closed strong thought we had to play and uh, so let's just jump into the most recent 10 Q per usual um, so to make first note as I've done in the last couple weeks I'll just run through kind of what I'm looking for quickly and then kind of go a little bit more in depth so uh, outstanding shares, 73 million, which is kind of crazy to me. If you remember on the chart, it closed at uh, 1260. So basically, it had a market cap that day of almost a billion dollars. The balance sheet here, cash, um, 3.8 million. Now, you got to uh, obviously remember this is as of uh, October 1st. So you're a few months back, so you're going to have to make adjustments. Uh, but anyway, as of now, 5.3 million in total current assets. Um, the current liability is 1.58, so not much debt, pretty positive. Um, also, uh, another thing, I don't know if I mentioned this in the past, something to take note of. When you're looking at a company's cash, right below it sometimes, so this one doesn't have it, but they'll have uh, short-term investments or marketable securities. And if you ever see that, you have to add that to the cash line. Show you an example. MRNS, I believe, was one I recall has it. Hopefully, <clears throat> yeah. So you can see here it has a cash of 19 million and it also has short term investments. So, really, their cash is closer to uh, you know 39 million. Just something to make note of going forward. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but thought I would here. Uh, scrolling on down, so again, um, for the three months they did about 400,000 in revenues. And uh, again, this isn't in the millions. You know, they don't have the thousands column, so you got to uh, make note of that as well. For the nine months, they did a little over a, like 1.2 million in revenues. Um, scrolling down here again, this is kind of the way I roughly calculate burn. Uh, 